Well, here we are. It is the final episode of the Millionaire Takeover. Did the Annie Road continue on their path to domination or did they crumble without me at the helm? After over 15 years, I finally retired from the game. We won every trophy bar the National League along the way. We won the Champions League, the Premier League, the FA Cup, the Cabaro Cup. We didn't win the Community Shield, however, whether you class that as a trophy or not. We won the Championship, League One, League Two, the Johnson Payne Trophy, the FA Vase. We won the Vanarama National North. We won all the divisions under that, which I could not name. We started at level 13 as an amateur. We finished a legend. Even though we didn't get paid like a legend, we did certainly finish the series as a legend. It was hard fought, just over a 100 episodes long. And now is time to see how the Annie Road and how England have done five years into the future. And let me just tell you, this took me about 12, 13 hours to sim to this point. I lost an entire day of being able to do anything to get to this point. So if this does not if this doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. So please feel free to leave a like because I lost an entire day simming five years to 2043. God almighty, let's get into this. So here we are, and I'm gonna be honest, I have not looked at this at all. Not at all. Um so, what I'm going to do is, we're just going to start by doing the obvious. Well, let's look at the Annie Road. Are we still in the Premier League? Yes, we are. Media prediction second? Okay, okay. So, I don't think everything's that bad. But let's see who's in this league right now. Any names that you wouldn't expect? No, it's still a... a Pretty um, good league. Bank balance of 468 million. Hemmingson is paid 300 grand a week. Perry Bowden is still here at 325. Hogland, 350. Holy crap. And then, you know, we left this club with a load of wonder kids. We've got 75 million social media fo followers. Uh, estimated £2 billion. Pounds. We're still playing at the Annie Road Stadium, 34,739. Um, yes, yeah, so let's let's start by having a look here. So, we won it there. We won it there. Have they won it since? So, they came third, second, second. They have won it once and third. So, they've not dropped below third. They've won the Champions League as well two more times. They've won two Community Shields. They've won the Premier League. They've won the Super Cup three times. They've won the FA Cup three times as well. They've won the Carabao Cup five times. Um, anything else? Skybet League 2, the Vase, Bristol Street Motors Trophy. Um, right, okay, so that's pretty pretty good. If we have a, have a look here. Yes, yeah, so we won it in 2038. They, they're not 44, 44. Yeah, 38. So then they won it in 39 and they won it last season as well. Um, and they won the Premier League last season as well. Finished runners up. Um, those who are in the dead place. So they really are a very well set club. Let's look at the senior squad. Let's see who is there. So they now have Eduardo Perez. So we, we didn't sign this guy. He came in um, in 39. For 93 million. Holy hell. 93 million. Bob Thomas. I'm sure he was... No, yeah, he was one of ours. We brought him in in their seven. So he, I think, was one of the wonder kids we had. And he, it's nice to see that he is doing well. Uh, Ado, once again, another guy we, ha we brought in in 36. We brought him in for... 15 million and he's gone from strength to strength to strength didn't really use him and then he's just become an an absolute starter mark mitchell we all know about 265 appearances for the club now still holding immense value hogland as we again know about broman in 35 211 appearances he has been a standout player um harry bowden playing with a 442 here as well 
251 appearances as well. Actually, 291 appearances, 51 goals. He is a mainstay and he's not for sale at all. Um, Matty Beach, he came in towards the end as well. 160 games, 22. Like, we've left this club in such a great position. Sanya as well. Look at the prices on these guys. We brought him in in 36. Oh, actually, we brought him in 34. We loaned him out for two seasons. How much did we buy him for? We bought him for 12.75 million. Absolute bargain these days. Blanchard's only on the on the bench here. Hemmingson, we know. Dan Baird as well. He's another one that's come through the Youth Academy. He is looking very, very good at 22 years of age. And... Blanchard is still at the club, has still got good value, 238 games. So we left this club in a very, very strong position. Craig Thompson is still here. I think he's requesting to transfer list because he isn't getting game time, which is fair enough. I guess, well, I think Perez has come in. But if we look at the age of the squad as well, they still got a lot of young players, not too many on the old side. So this is a squad that is built to last so, that answers that question. But let's look now at the England national team. Let's see how Eng the England national team are doing. Um, rank first, so they haven't lost that. Um, winning all of their things. Let's look at the overview. Uh, let's look at the competition. So... We finished in 2038. So they were the runner up in the World Cup just gone. They were the runner up in the Europeans. They have won the European International League two more times as well. So that's all well and good. Um, can we see Ballon d'Or winners? World player. Uh, world player of the year. So, there's our man, Soso Magasuva. He is the best player in the world. Tom Brent, who was absolutely immense in the World Cup finals for us. Do I say, I think both of these are former Annie Road Boys, aren't they? Yeah, Annie Road Boy came through the academy. And do say did. Harlan, Musiala. So, finally, Soso Magasuba is getting the love that he deserves. 183 games, 122 goals, 88 caps, and £325,000 a week. Oh, wow. Wow. It's uh, emotional to see Magasuba doing. How much did we buy this guy for again? We bought him for £40 million in the 36-37 season. He played an absolute blinder. Like, look at... He hasn't dropped below a 7 for us. He was just such a great player for us. And let's see. Do we have any runners-ups here? Finn Marlowe. He's at Man United. Um, Sean Martin. Ndwase. Ortega. Sean Martin. Victor Ro Vito Roque. Um, Matthias Tell. Kareem Kanate. Oh, you know, wow. Okay. Um, so that's well. Let's look at European player. Men's player of the year award. Let's see who's won this. So Diego Gonzalez. And Brent and Duase. Tom Brent. Tell us Sagna won it. That's pretty cool. Tom Brent. So, so Magasuba was the runner-up. Um, 47 goals, 25, 7 assists. I think that's a bit harsh, really, on a so, so there. Sanya, Brent. Um, Brent, Burrows. Holloway. George Holloway is still kicking about here. Then you go down, you start seeing... Or of those players. Right. So. What else is there to really look at over the last few years? Let's let's have a look and see where 
some teams are now. So we're going to the championship. Uh, Skybet Championship. Let's see who's in this league. That might be a little bit of a shock. Wrexham are in there. No, there's not many shocks going on. Bromley, maybe. You could say that. That's probably it. What about Tranmere? Let, let's look at our rivals here. Let's look at Tranmere. In Skybet League 2. Their team just seems to thrive. Like they get promoted to League 1, don't do anything, and then get relegated, and they just stay there. Very odd team, Tronmere. Never seem to be able to do anything. Like, uh, they don't really have any good players neither to sell. Yeah. Yeah, that. Is there anything, any jobs that are interesting? Uh, Plymouth. Actually, who took over us as manager? I haven't even checked that out at all. Who is our manager? So, a history. Managers. So, Leon James, who was the Villa manager. Yeah, the Villa manager. Sunderland, York, Villa. He's been manager this entire time. I want to have a word. I only got offered 40 grand. They would not do more than 40 grand for me. I feel absolutely sickened. Absolutely sickened. He signed I'm 41 as well. Absolutely sickened. Um, so yeah, he's won the Carabao Super Cup Community Shields. Won the league once. Just, he's not, 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 not me. 14 years, just shy of 15 years in the job. He's been there four years. So they a very, very stable club. Let's see the facilities. Exceptional, exceptional, state of the art, superb, top corporate, youth level one, 20 year stadium sponsor deal worth 20 million per season. Um, let's look at the general. Let's see. So hardcore fans. Got a lot of core fans, which is very good. What's the five year plan? Work in the wage budget. Spend the original transfer budget, increase commercial revenue, sign young players to develop for the profit. That's that's not really a, a big team play there. And well, so we did make the legends lift. We're on the legends lift with the likes of Perry Bauer and Tal Talbot, who was one of the the OGs in this save. Um playing for spent seventeen years from twenty twenty to twenty four. Talbot made three hundred and scored. He spent a lot of time, 92 games between 29 and 32 with us before moving to Exeter. And he, he sort of bounced around. Um, who else is on the... Bowden, Morris, yeah. Hogland's only an icon. Marvin, what to... Just some names here that you look and go, well, you know, Mark Mitchell's only on the favourite personnel list. Maintain the uh, most reputable team in Europe. Maintain the club series as the biggest team in the world. Maintain the best youth academy in the country and the world. Challenge, challenge. Be competitive. So there is a, a lot. The board culture. Counter-attacking, defensively direct. Fo entertaining football. Sign plays under the age of 23 for the first team. And it just And it, it, we just finish this off. And I am going to move myself over this side to this. Just look at this rise. We were in the Liverpool Premier Di League second division. And every single year, we got ourselves promoted. Until we got in the championship. And then... Premier League, and then we've just gone from strength to strength. I'm really, really proud of this save. Like, it was such a difficult save in the beginning because there was no challenge that I was having to get through seasons as quickly as I was having to do a season a day near enough just to make sure I had content to put out because it wasn't fun. It was quite boring, quite lethargic. But I've grown to absolutely love this save 
like to go from down here to then from this playing in these stupid regional cup competitions to then having to qualify for the preliminary rounds of the FA Cup to being in the FA Cup proper to winning the FA Cup winning the Car uh, the Cabaro Cup winning the Champions League winning the World Cup winning the Euros it was such a hard career mode for me personally just in terms of having to play it and make it entertaining for you to watch like it took at times i was thinking oh, this is boring the views you know the most viewed video has had probably about 30 views and when you deal with such a small amount of views you do feel like just giving up and not not complaining just moving on to something that people might watch more when it might get a few more clicks but i wanted to say with it, i wanted to see it through and I can honestly say I have enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed this. In fact, let me switch screens now. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this too. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, and I will be back. I have got lined up. Oh, I can actually tell you I've got lined up because I'll be starting to record today. So, I have 46 teams in five different categories. Those categories are... Bear with me a second. I'll actually go and get the categories. So we have a Wonder Kid search where I go through the best 20 Wonder Kids and basically follow their career. I'm going to be doing that and then I'm going to be doing a separate Wonder Kids one where I'm going to create 20 Wonder Kids, plop them around into different teams, different setups, and we're going to be tracking their uh, career through 15 10 or 15 years i'm undecided how far i'll probably go 15 years into the future it depends how much my computer can hack it really because 15 years is basically what this save is so whether my computer can hack 15 years is a different story but i'm hoping that it will be able to hack it they will be coming much later down the line mainly because um of the amount of time they're going to take to record. We have some challenge runs. We have a youth academy. So we're going to be looking at the 10 best youth academies as chosen by ChatGPT. I'm moving with the times, people. We've got um, that coming up as well. So the 10 ones that ChatGPT suggested, we're going to be doing a series on those and how it's going to work is one episode will be one club and it'll be a five year stretch the video will be about an hour hour and a half long and we'll be going through each season and looking at how we did and at the end rating the difficulty of whatever the objective is the objective will be decided per team we have a club rebuilds coming and we have so much fun with these we're going to be doing Man United, well, let me actually go, the, the teams that I have got for that series. So, for a club rebuild, let me just see which one it is. We have got AC Milan, Man United, Schalke, Marseille, Deportivo La Coruña, Hamburg, Valencia, St. Etienne, Sunderland and Parma. All coming up for that. Some good teams in there that have fallen on hard times. So we will be doing that. We have a billionaire takeover. Which we look at teams that are... Big teams like Newcastle United who have had that takeover. And we're going to see what we can do to stay within FFP. Stay within the sustainability rules of the country. And also build a team that can demolish the competition. <coughs> we got... Um, some underdog stories, so teams like Brentford, who we're going to try and grind in, in a five-year time period into the Champions League, winning the Premier League, etc., etc. We've got some financial rescues, so teams that have gone a little bit astray, so that's a billionaire takeover kind of um, vibe. And then we've got fan-owned clubs. And we are going to be putting in stipulations of we must, we can only buy these kind of players. We can only do this. And I will be adding those stipulations onto the screens. I've got it all set up. I think we've got 46 teams in total over those five challenges. Because some 
teams fall into multiple challenges. We're going to be doing that. We're going to be having a lot of fun. I'm looking to get two videos out per week. Whether I can do that is a different story, depending on how long these take to record and things like that. But, yeah, I am really, really looking forward to it. Any other challenges, teams you want to see me do, please leave them down in the comments, and I'll see if I can fit them into some kind of series. And, yeah, that is really it. I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed... The ups and downs, I know I have, personally, and I look forward to doing a lot more before the launch of FM25, where we will be going in with the challenges. We're not going to be doing a longer series like this early on. We might do it a bit later on in the year, but I really, really, really do want to get a load of different challenges done early on. Really use the new setups and see what they're all about we're going to be using some different formations as well we got the wheel back here that's going to have some formations and whatever formation we spin i'm going to have 14 formations run down that is the formation we have to use for the entirety of one of the saves so 46 we're going to have 14 uh different formations we're allowed to change them slightly make them a bit more wackier if we want but that is it and, yeah, I honestly just cannot wait. So, yeah, that, I, think that, I think that covers everything I've got to say. I hope you've enjoyed. Please leave a like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon for the new series that is starting tomorrow. Because I am I'm, I am about two and a half weeks ahead of myself right now. High five me. I will see you very soon. Bye for now.